uh, this guy carries. Yeah, and Curran laid it on thick. Okay, then he talks about dehumanizing and devaluing for Lucretia to explore a secretive and lonely death. What's he saying here? Can anyone tell me what that sort of sentence means? <laughs> well, he's saying that for this lady who's so who's very sick, mm -hmm. it's dehumanizing. It's very um, causing a lot of values to have to figure out how to kill herself. Okay, and that's what he's saying there. Yes. To explore here means to think about mm -hmm. uh, killing yourself, basically. Okay. Mm -hmm. Secretive and lonely death. Is she going to do? Where is she going to do it? At home, probably. By herself. Mm. Maybe someone get a husband to help her or something. But not in a hospital surrounded by people. Mm. Okay. She probably do it at home. Uh, and be in bed. Do it at home. Get a husband to help her. Okay. And no one will know anything. No one will know. Justice Collins can simply decide his hands are tied. If you're handing over something, what does it mean? I can't, can't do anything. You have no choice. Yeah. Okay? No, no. If your hands are tied... Uh, can't do anything. No choice. Hands are No choice, mm. basically. My hands are tied. I have to pay the rent every week. Something you have to do. Okay? No choice. The Solicitor General told him, Ms. Seals, Mrs. Is... What's Ms.? Miss not Mrs. Yeah. Not Mrs. Yeah. Not Mrs. Usually married, okay? Usually not married. This one? Secret. Secret. Once married and. Yeah. A lot of married ladies want to be called Ms. Because yeah. they don't like the idea of Mrs. something, okay? And a lot of single ladies don't want to be called Miss because that tells you they're single and people want, well, why aren't you married, you know? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people use Miss. Yes. It's, in my opinion, rubbish. But it's <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of men feel the same way, okay? Mm. You're either Mrs. or Miss, one or the other. I use Miss very much now, okay? It's, Okay, um, so Miss Seal was asking for the law to clarify it or to make it clear, to clear, the, make the law more clear. To clarify is to clear. To make clear. In other words, law which says you can't do it. Then you got the Bill of Rights which says. She has the right to make her own decisions. So this would be to clarify the difference between the two. To clarify, to make the difference between the two more clear. Okay? So people can understand it. Uh, strictly speaking, only Parliament in this country can change the law. Mm. Parliament's the governing body. They're the people that make and break the laws, mm -hmm. make and change the laws. Uh, local bodies <coughs> can't make... The city council can make a, a, a law for the city, but it can't make a law for the country. Mm -hmm. Okay, City council can say, okay, we're Tuesday. That's the law mm -hmm. in the city. Mm -hmm. But if they're going to say, well, you can't vote, that's something that the government's going to have to do. Okay? Like changing the flag, this, this discussion about changing the flag. Only the government can decide that, mm. only the government. Okay? But it would be idle for the judiciary, or not good for the judiciary. Who's the judiciary? All the, all the people, all the judges and the lawyers and the solicitors, they're called the judiciary because they make judgments. Okay? So a judge is a member of the judiciary. Uh, a lawyer, a barrister is a member of the judiciary because they deal in deciding laws and laws. Okay? It would be not good for the judiciary to deny 
they can. Okay? So it's, it's what he's saying here, it wouldn't be good for the judges to say, no, we can change the law, not the, not the parliament, not the parliament. Judges are bound by law, okay? You know, we read about some people doing weird things and then not getting punished hard, but judges are only following the law. They can't make their own decision. The judge decides, the law says, for this crime, he gets this, and the judge can't increase it. He can decrease it, but he can't increase it. So that's why a lot of people get off. Most judges would like to really hit them hard, but the law can't do that. They can only go so far. So they have to follow the law. Okay? Uh, and that's why we get a lot of these weird crimes where people kill people don't stay, spend the day in jail. Okay? And that's happened quite often. Uh, there's been lots of cases. Uh, last year there was this lady on a, on a car, come over the hill, crashed into three people on bikes. Five people killed three. One was a mum with three kids. Didn't spend a day in jail. Didn't spend a day in jail. She killed three people. Not a day in jail. Okay? Uh, that's the amount of latitude the judges have under the law. Going past the law, they can't. Okay? If the law says 10 years for murder, the judge can't say 12. The judge can only say 10. That's, he's restricted by the law. And that's what they're saying here. The judiciary cannot say we can change the law. <coughs> they can only suggest, they can suggest, we think you should do this, but Parliament makes the final decision. Okay? They have made significant social change in the name of clarifying. Okay? Real or imagined contradictions in legislation. What's a contradiction in legislation? It's a contradiction in law. The law says one thing, but the judge says another. Contradiction is saying the opposite. This happens a lot. It happened to me when I was a kid. Go and ask Dad, can I go to the movies? So I get ready to go. He says, yes. So I get ready to go to the movies. Mum says, where are you going? And I say, I'm going to the movies. He says, no, you're not. Okay? And so she would contradict what Dad said. And Mum okay? <laughs> uh, after a while, I, I used to go to Dad to ask him for stuff. And Mum would always say no. So I went straight to Mum in the end. I forgot Dad. Okay? So, mum contradicted her father's decision. No, you can't. Okay? <laughs> mm, happens a lot. Okay? Mum is the boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, let's, 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 let's make it committed, okay? <laughs> mum's the boss. No one's going to argue that issue, okay? Men like to think they're the boss, but not really, okay? Uh, any questions on what we've done up to now? This is quite, I know this is one, okay? But it's an interesting one, and it's a topical one. Yeah. It's one that's happening right now, as mm. we speak. Mm. We have, should have a decision today, mm. one way or another. Okay? Mm. Okay, I think it's your... A great deal of modern law on the treaty has been made that way. I hope Justice Collins does not take the easy way out. I hope his decision has undertaken to provide robust reasoning for the sanctity of life and the principle of the doctors. Okay. I knew a woman who chose, chose, who chose. To with dignity and she didn't ask a doctor to break a professional ethic in a hospital and discover a stroke immobilized her limbs on one side and wished she had died. Unhappy in care for a while until one day she simply decided not to eat again. Okay, so a great deal of modern law on the treaty. Treaty here means the Treaty of Waitangi. Mm. 
Wow. The yeah. Treaty of Waitangi. Okay. Mm. So a lot of a lot of the law regarding the Treaty of Waitangi has been sort of clarified by the judiciary. Okay. Um, I hope Justice Collins does not take that easy way out. In other words, come up with a sort of non-binding decision. I hope his decision, which he has undertaken or promised here, undertaken or promised. undertook to live a life without alcohol. He promised to live a life without alcohol. So to undertake has the meaning of promise. It also has the meaning to carry out something for a long time. Without. Some people do. <laughs> okay, he's undertaking the challenge to swim oh, straight. Okay? So he's doing it. He's so cook straight. You know, cook straight. Cook Strait? Everyone know Cook Strait? I don't know. North Island, South Island, Cook Strait. Oh. Ah, yeah. Where, uh, Nelson, Benham, up here. From yeah. here, there. Yeah. Cook Strait separates North Island and South Island. Oh. Okay, Yenzer Island Ferry. Okay. Wow. About 30 miles wide. 30 miles at its shortest this point. Okay. But here, he's promised. Here, he's actually getting out there and swimming. Uh, has undertaken to deliver soon. So the judge has <laughs> said, I promise I will deliver them at the very soon. Okay? Robust reasoning, strong reasoning for the sanctity, the uh, uh, preciousness of life, and the proper role of doctors. Is it the doctor's role to help people to die? No. no. They take an oath, the Hippocratic Oath, when they become a doctor, when they graduate medical school, they get up and swear to preserve life as much as they can. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean giving someone poison or whatever mm -hmm. to kill them, okay? So that's killing someone in a cold, premeditated mash is not the role of a doctor, okay? I knew a to die with dignity and doctor to break a professional ethic. Ethic is a set of rules, moral, moral rules, okay? Because, like I said earlier, doctors are obligated to save life, not kill, stop it. Mm -hmm. So that's an ethic. That's one of the doctor's ethics. Mm -hmm. and that's an ethic. Something a doctor... Mm -hmm. She woke up in her hospital to discover a stroke. What's a stroke? Yeah, you yeah. get a clot in your head yeah. and the brain shut part very, of the brain very, shuts yeah, down. Brain okay. Yeah. Okay. Had immobilized her limbs. What happened here? She cannot move. She couldn't move her arms and legs. Mm. Your limbs are your arms and legs. Mm. So branches. Branches on a tree. Okay? That's why we call them limbs, because they stick out. The branches stick out, like our hands and legs. Okay? Arms and legs. So limbs, arms and legs. General word for arms and legs. Okay? Immobilize them. She couldn't move. Yes. Couldn't move her arms, couldn't move her legs. Okay? Uh, on one side, and she wished she had died. Okay? She survived unhappy in care. What does that mean? 
She survived unhappy in care. Yeah, she, so she needed care. care. She probably went to a rest home somewhere mm -hmm. and uh, just wasn't happy there. And that's what happened to my mother. My mother went to a rest home. We put her in there. She had a partial stroke. She was sick. She went, we put her in a rest home and she was dead. She willed herself to death. Because after two days in the rest home, she told me, I don't want to be here. I don't oh, want to be here. Oh. Two days later, she was dead. Okay? Oh, oh. So she basically just gave up. Just gave up. Because the day we arrived, they were wheeling out a person who had died, which is not a good sign. Okay? So surrounded by old people who were just said to us, that's it, I'm finished. And she died. She died a week later. Okay? Kill him also? No, no, no. She just, just gave up. Gave up. She was sick. Oh. But instead of fighting it and trying to get well, just gave up. Gave up and, and died. Okay? And there's no doubt in my mind that's what killed her, the mm -hmm. time she was in the rest home. No doubt in my mind at all. Mm -hmm. My mind and my sister's mind, that's what killed her, being in that rest home. And this is what happened to this lady here. She's in a rest home, can't move on one side, she wants to die, and the bodies are very, you know, the, the willpower is very strong, and you can will yourself to death. Mm. Here, she decided not to eat. Not to eat, so she starved herself to death. Okay? Mm. Until one day, she simply decided not to eat again. Yeah. Next one, please. When eventually she was taken back to hospital, it made it clear she was not to be horse-fed. Her wish was received in every other way. Her death was normal. Nothing kept her as comfortable as possible. Family were at her bedside every day. We didn't discuss her decision. We knew her too well to imagine anything we said would change her mind. They need to remember her. The dying is a painful business, as though it was just another of life's interesting experiences. Okay, so they took her to hospital. Force feed, what, what happens here? Try to force feed her? Forced to eat. Well, they put Injection. tubes and stuff and yeah. you know, yeah. feed the food into you, okay? And it's very dehumanizing, okay, mm. to use the word here. Mm. So she, she said, no, I don't want to do that. Mm. So they just left her alone, mm. okay? They left her alone. Um, her wish was received, okay, that's what you want, that's mm. what you get, okay? And every other way, her death was normal. Medicine kept her comfortable. They gave her drugs to stop the pain, but not to cure her. Mm. Okay, stop the pain, make her feel comfortable. Mm. So just peacefully passed away. Mm. Okay, family and friends were at her bedside every day. Okay? Mm. We didn't discuss her decisions with her. We knew her too well to know that anything would change her mind. She made up her mind, mm. and nothing anyone said would change her. Mm. Okay, and one day near the end, just before she died. I heard her remarking, death, dying is a painful business, it's sort of just casual. It's another one of life's unfortunate experiences, like having a baby, having a tooth pulled, breaking an arm, or something like that. Okay? Mm. Any questions there? Mm. Okay, next lady, please. Oh, this was restricted in the universe. Minimal sense? Minimal sense. Since death, it was her decision. I don't know any of us admired it. Admired? Admired it. I couldn't begin to understand it. She had been such a strong-willed woman that I would have predicted she could fight her way, making the most of her life either. Partial, partial uh, para paralysis. paralysis. Possibly the stroke had changed her character, but it took an immensely, immensely. immensely strong will to die the way she did. Okay. So her wish was respected in the minimal sense that it was her decision. Okay, your decision. We won't interfere, just let nature take its course. Okay? I don't think that's what this gentleman's writing about. 
She had been such a strong-willed woman that I she would fight. Uh, she would fight her way. Uh, strong-willed means determined. If you're strong-willed, you're determined. You don't give in easily. You fight very hard. The opposite is weak-willed. <laughs> strong-willed, you really fight till the end. Weak-willed, you give in. You don't. Okay. Not very strong character. Okay? Strong will. You're strong in character, stubborn, you'll fight till the end. Do as much as you can. And weak will, just give up. Okay? That I would have predicted or guessed that she could fight away, making the most of life with partial paralysis. Okay? One arm and one leg didn't partial. work. Uh, you can still get around, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But she didn't want that, obviously. She mm -hmm. didn't want that. Okay? Possibly the stroke had changed her character, changed her will, mm. but it took an immensely strong will to die the way she did. What, 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 why does he say an immensely strong will? Why does it take an immensely strong will to die that way? Anyone want to tell me? Because she, if she'd eaten, taken food, she could have lived a normal life, another 10, 15 more years. But no, she said, made a conscious decision, I want to die. I'm not going to eat anymore. And starvation is not an easy way to go. Mm -hmm. Okay? So she was willing to accept that because she didn't want to live partially paralyzed. Okay? Strong willed lady. Strong. It doesn't want to die. It'll fight its hardest to stay alive. We've seen that in many, many cases. Okay? And the human, you know, we, people live for 10 days underneath a collapsed building. And because the body, I'm not giving up. I'm going to hang it. So it was very uh, a long way for her to die, a very hard way for her to die. Okay? Not painful because she had to die, but still, it was a very conscious decision for uh, a long way to die. Okay? Okay, uh, next gentleman, please. The campaign for. Ertonasia, he is asking for much more than the right to, the, to die with dignity. They want him to be lawful for Dr. Ertonasia's them, not in the way, the way they assisted my aunt, but by a legal act. Lethal act. Legal act. Miss Seals. Miss Seals has the general practitioner who is prepared to kill her when she asks Mr. Kirana. Mr. Curran. Mr. Curran suggested it be done by changing a cell life solution to. I know this offends me. I just need better minds to tell me why. Good. Okay, so the campaign for euthanasia, it's building up steam in New Zealand. People want. Okay. Is asking for much more than the right to die with dignity, to die a dignified, natural death. Okay. I want it to be lawful for doctors to assist them. Not in the way they assisted my which was giving her drugs to ease her pain, but nothing to kill her, nothing to hurry death along, just letting nature take its course. Okay? But a lethal act. Lethal means deadly. Anything lethal is deadly. Okay? It'll kill you. Thank you.
so lethal means deadly, it will kill you. This snake has a lethal poison. Several snakes, they bite you, and a couple of minutes later you're dead. It's very strong. He was eat, executed by lethal injection. This is done in America. Texas does it. They strap the guy to a table. He's got a needle in his arm. And then when the warden says okay, they press the button and start it into his body and he dies. Sometimes not straight away. Yeah. But it's in America, it's a recognized institution in some states, lethal injection. Okay. And that, and what he's saying here, he doesn't he wants the doctors he would like the doctors to help someone die by giving them drugs to stop the pain, not by giving them drugs to hurry it along. Okay, not giving them a poison or a lethal injection, overdose or some medicine. The most common one is sodium pentothal. They give you lethal too much. If you get too much of that, it will kill you. It will kill you. Okay. Here's, and this is a combination of two or three. Okay. Uh, not in the way they assisted my aunt, by a lethal act. In other words, in the syringe, injecting her with the, po uh, you know, the poison. Not poison, lethal drugs, okay? Miss Seals has a general practitioner. General practitioner. GP. Yep, your G GP. <laughs> Good old GP, okay? Who is prepared to kill when she asks. Mr. Curran suggested it could be done by changing a saline solution to a lethal substance. What's a saline solution? Saline means salt, okay? Salty. Uh, you know, they're the ones you see people, they they got the bag hanging down and the tube and the, the needle in their arm, mm -hmm. Paired if you're dehydrated or something like that, okay? When I was in hospital, I had one, okay? Instead, instead of putting a, a, a mixture of salt and water, put it with poison. So the poison oh. the Okay? And he's, that's what Okay? By changing a saline solution to a leak. Do this offends me? This guy. Yes. Do you think this guy supports the lady? Mm. Does he support her desire to die? No. Do you think so? I don't think so. He's a Sort of 50 50, maybe. He, yes, he's got some rise, but I don't feel good about it. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Okay? I know this offends me. I just need to tell me why. Why does it offend me? Why is it upsetting? Okay? And that's what he's. That's the whole, whole idea of the article. Yes, she has the right, but why does it offend me? Why, why don't I feel comfortable about mm. that? Okay? And that's what he's saying a lot of people probably feel the same. What do you feel? What do you guys feel? Uh, Let's hope you never have to face the but what do you think? Say someone in your family was in the same situation, what would you guys do? Okay? No. <laughs> do nothing, okay? <laughs> do nothing, okay? That's probably what most people do. Let the doctors worry about it, okay? Uh, but, uh, uh, every country has the same situation. Oh, yeah, it's every country. The, yeah, very yeah. Big, Every big country big has that. Yeah. In America, they had a guy called Dr. Death. He was a guy to people who wanted to, because in America it's illegal, mm -hmm. it's still illegal, but they called him Dr. Death to people who wanted to die, and die. And he was in and out of jails all the time. In and out of jail all the time. Okay? Dr. Kevorkian, his name was, Dr. Death. Uh, he was, he killed about a dozen people. Helped, helped them die, I mean. Okay? Any questions on what we covered? There should be a decision, hopefully today, because this poor lady, according to the news this morning, she's just about finished, okay? She's, the condition has gone really bad, and she's just hanging in there. Forty-two years old, too young. Hmm? Forty-two, yeah. Forty-two years old, very young. Yeah. Okay, it's a shame. She got 
terrible brain tumors. Yeah. yeah. Once and you get once. Very painful. Terrible pain. Yeah. A friend of mine. Mm -hmm. He 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 got a brain healthy young, healthy man, about the same age, brain tumor, went to hospital. They got most of it out. Six months later, he was dead. Okay. And it's just just eats away at you. Okay. The other cancers you can sort of, mm -hmm. but uh, the brain is once it's in there, it's bad. Okay. So uh, this poor lady's. She'll know today, but it's probably going to be too late the way things are going. Mm. So yeah. the decision hasn't been made. Not so yet. Too not today. yet. Well, that's what they say. Uh, yeah. The news is saying there should be a decision today. Okay. Uh, should be means maybe. Okay? Mm. And, but like I said earlier, I can't understand why he's taking a week. It's a complicated law matter, so I can understand that to a certain extent. But this lady wants to do what she wants to Otherwise, do. Otherwise, she killed herself. Hmm? Otherwise, he killed herself. Huh? Yeah, um, um, there's other ways to do it without a doctor. But she wants her doctor to do it. Yeah. She doesn't want to hide in bed and take overdose of pills or something. Uh, she wants it to be done by and whatever. Okay. Reporting her. So um, it's interesting. We'll find out today probably one way or the other. And then if it's the judge says okay, there's a lot of things in New Zealand. We'll change a lot of things. Okay, questions? What's your opinion about this article? I should be allowed to. I see on the news on TV that show, oh, here's Mrs. Smith, 102 years old, and poor old Mrs. Smith is sitting in a wheelchair. She can hardly move, hardly talk. To me, that's not living. To me, mm. that's my opinion. Mm. That's not living. Mm. Situation, I'd say, pull the plug. Okay, uh, I would. Uh, to me, life is when you can be a part of life, not just a vegetable sitting in a wheelchair. Alive, technically alive. Okay, so uh, I, I feel if she wants to do it, go for it. Okay, it's her decision. She's the one that's going to die, not the doctor, not the people, not you or I. It's, she's the one that's going to die. Her husband, you know. He, I'm sure he feels bad about it, but he's supporting it, so, you know. But I personally would, yeah, go for it, okay? What do you guys think? I agree with you. Yeah. Uh, it's not a life. Yeah, it's not, it's not really. <laughs> Getting old is miserable, okay? Getting old can be miserable. You see these dear old souls and so, guys walking yeah. along and you think, God. Do you know how many children she has? No, I don't know if she has any children. Yeah, they I think... I could be wrong, but I think there's two. I don't know their ages, okay? Uh, but she's only 40. Prime love, okay? Okay, that's it, unless you have any questions. Here's the more sentence. Oh. No. <laughs> yep, okay. 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 Euthanasia case. Are you ready? Euthanasia case, unknown nerve. High court can robustly defend the quality of life. It is not often I wish I was a Wellington, but I did this week. Given spare time and the city's high court, I would have been in the public gallery every day for the hearing of Lucretia Seal's request for euthanasia. Very quiet, assuming most of those around me and supporters of the 42-year-old woman with an inoperable brain tumour. When her battery of lawyers argued that her wish ought to be a matter between her and her doctor and that it was nobody else's business, I'd have been asking myself, why do I care? Why am I here? All I know is that I do not want her to take with or without assistance, nor does the law, but I don't know why. I'd have, I'd have come back the next day hoping to hear the Solicitor General, Mike Heron QC, provide a profound answer. Reports from the co court quote him, quote him saying the sanctity of life was a fundamental of common The principle recognizes that human life is a basic, intrinsic good. The law was designed also the vulnerable. The right not to be killed is ensured, regardless of inability or disability. 
the spectre of the very old and infirm being pressured to request death, not a satisfying answer to the campaign for euthanasia. Doctors pull the plug on comatose patients every day with the consent of families. Voluntary euthanasia is a much more chilling, premeditated prospect. Lucia Seals contended that she and her doctor already have the right to make the decision under the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act, which provides for the right to life and the right not to be to cruelty. Lucretia's right to life, argued Chris Curran, would be breached because if her request was denied, she would be forced to take a life prematurely while she was still capable of doing so. That was a heavy responsibility to hang on Justice David Collins, who has reserved his decision, and Curran laid it on thick. It's dehumanizing and devaluing for Lucretia to explore a secretive death, he said. Justice Collins can simply decide his hands are tied. The Solicitor General told him that Ms. Seals was asking him to change the law, not clarify it. Speak, strictly speaking, only Parliament in this country can change the law, but it would be idle for the judiciary to deny they can and have made significant social change in the name of real or imaginary elections, legislation, or applying it to new issues. A great deal of modern law on the treaty has been made that way. I hope Justice Collins does not take the easy way out. I hope his decision, which he has undertaken to deliver soon, provides robust reasoning for the sanctity of life and the proper role of doctors. I knew a woman who chose she didn't ask a doctor to break a professional ethic. She woke up in a hospital to discover a stroke that her limbs on one side and wished she had died. She survived unhappy and cared for a while until one day she simply decided not to eat again. When eventually she was taken back to hospital, she made it clear she was not to be forced fed. Her wish was respected and in every other way, her death was normal. Medicine kept her as comfortable as possible. Family were at her bedside every day. We didn't discuss her decision with her. We knew her too well to imagine anything we said would change her mind. One day, near the end, I remember her remarking, this dying is a painful business, as though it was just another one of those interesting experiences. Her wish was respected in the minimal sense that it was her decision. I don't think any of us admired it. I couldn't begin to understand it. She had been such a world woman that I would have been to fight her way, making the most of life with partial paralysis. Possibly the stroke had changed her character, but it took an immensely strong will to die the way she did. The campaign for euthanasia is asking for much more than the right to die with dignity. They want it to be lawful for doctors to assist them, not in the way they assisted my aunt, but by a lethal act. Seals has a general practitioner who is prepared to kill her when she asks. Mr. Curran, it could be done by changing a saline solution to a lethal substance. I know this offends me. I just need better minds to tell me why. Okay? That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.